Hey guys, so if you've watched our other video on the, uh, the McGill Crunch, this is a bit of an opposite of that where we get a bit more of the uh, lower abdomen. We're never really isolating purely, but we're biasing the movement down to the lower abdomen. So if you've had any hip, uh, back, shoulder injuries, this might be of use to you. Um, and if it's uh, too easy, then we've got some other progressions for you as well. Okay, so you're gonna lay on your back to begin with. Now, with the McGill crunch exercise, we were trying to lift the shoulder blades away from the ground. With this one, we're trying to lift the pelvis away from the ground. And so you might need a little bit of assistance to begin with from your hands as a bit of a counterbalance. So if I tuck my legs up into here, just move this mic. As I tuck my legs up into here, I'm trying to roll and keep my leg, my hip, so I can now run my hand underneath my pelvis here, and I'm trying to just hold here for time. As I'm holding here, you might start to shake a little bit. As soon as you start to shake, maybe give that a few more seconds and then come back down and have a rest. You don't need to necessarily push a lot through that. We're trying to encourage like a, a positive experience, a positive feedback loop with your exercise. So we want it to feel achievable, but somewhat challenging. If that version feels slightly too easy for you, then you can hold up and you can start to extend one leg or two legs. Or you could take away the support of the hands and just hold like this. Ensuring that you still breathe or maybe talk as a talk test to you know, demonstrate that you're breathing. Or you can look left and right or hold a weight as well if you need to add some more complexity or more intensity. And the goal is essentially to not let your pelvis drop back down. As a uh, progression, you might move into one of your hanging leg raises. We've got a video for that that you can watch. Um, but if you need to sort of dial it down a little bit, then you can go back to the McGill Crunch, or you can look at maybe, you know, like some dead bugs or some of the, the four-point kneeling exercises we've got. Um, as always, if you have any pain doing this, please stop and try and find a version of exercise, whether it's the same thing with some different variables or one of our easier versions um, that is pain-free. There's always a pain-free option. If you like this video, then please hit like below. Otherwise, to check out more of our content in the future, you can subscribe to our channel by clicking our logo over here. And to check out our latest video, click up here.